17 seconds from game seven or from championship number six. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead. Jordan, open, Chicago with the lead. Let's take some time to study a drag cross and really understand the nuances that occur with this set of footwork. Now this move, this footwork was made most famous by Michael Jordan in his sixth championship as he hit the game winner versus Byron Russell. But I want you to understand is actually how this footwork actually occurred. So right now, if I was driving in that same moment in time and I planted my inside foot, now a drag is my ability to extend my outside leg for the purpose of stopping. Now once I stop in this position, in Jordan's case, he was able to push off versus Byron Russell and then he was able to actually cross after that space was created and then of course settle into his shot and actually make that shot and win the championship. But right now we're using this footwork mat to really understand the space. If you really look at the play that Michael Jordan made, he was able to plant his inside foot on the actual NBA line and when he actually extended, you can see his six foot six length as he was able to touch all the way to the top of the key before he actually conducted the move. Now, I don't have Michael Jordan's length, but what's brilliant about the footwork mat right now is it gives me the parameters to really understand this. Even if I don't have an NBA line and the high school line present right now, by putting the mat where it is, I can actually start to train with the same distance and length that is sometimes required within the game of basketball. So for me, in my space, I can actually fit perfectly into my length with red and blue as I conduct that same crossover. And of course, if I'm longer and I wanna to get to Michael Jordan's exacts and his specifics, I can just use the edges and go further than the mat and see how long you can actually stretch. Now, what I want you to be able to do when you work on moments like this is really understand that the, the purpose of the mat and the purpose of actually understanding this space and these visual aids is simply that you can understand the physical attributes that are needed in moments like this. So I don't necessarily have to put myself in the same game situation. I don't have to try to count down the clock and put myself in the exact moments. I can work on the exact characteristics that were present in this play. So go ahead and leave your mat set up, work on your ability to drive to it, use the dots to represent your space, conduct the crossover and knock down your shot. And if you can hold yourself accountable to this exact same space, you're putting yourself in a position to make the same shot that Michael Jordan used to win his sixth championship. So now let's dive into actually doing this on your own when you do not have a basket, because literally the only thing that changes is that you can do your footwork, do the move, and then just simply stop and do it again. The basket's always a bonus. So if you have a basket to use, feel free to use it. If not, then there's no excuses, still work on your feet. Now all we're doing right now is we do our drag cross is we're focused on length. So often when players try to practice this on their own, because they don't have the actual confines of the game, they're not going full speed, they're not able to really get imagination-wise into the play, they'll stop short into that cross. Well, if you think of this full speed, there's no way that you could stop that short if you really were driving at a game speed. So we wanna be able to hold ourselves accountable to length. So that's all I'm really using this map for is length and then understanding my space when I would have shot. See, if I can get my inside foot to plant right around the red dot and I just simply keep in mind that I need to stretch all the way out to the blue, now I've put enough leverage and power on this outside leg to truly stop. Now in the game I might have a bump, I can push, and so that would happen as well, but now I can cross the ball over, it all happens in that time, and then of course we see able to understand space of what we do now. I don't necessarily want to step into that space because I'm closer to the defense. I don't have to come all the way back as that takes a lot of energy. So we can simply do the exact same technique Jordan did, which is a foot replacement. So that should leave me somewhere around the circle of this mat. So if I can get to my drag, have my cross and get my foot replacement, even if I'm not shooting, I know that my techniques matched MJ's. My techniques matched the greatest of all time. And that's really our focus. So as you rep this out on your own, just keep in mind your space. You don't have to be going full speed because we have the accountability to actually hold ourselves accountable to the distance. So I can focus on my technique, planting my outside leg, and then seeing where I actually plant and finish that play at. Inside foot first, outside foot hits the blue. And then I, of course, control the space. And when I go the other way, 
All I need to do is keep in mind that same space. My outside leg needs to plant around that gray. Now I know exactly my length and now I can control exactly where I want to shoot the ball as well. So every detail is included. And that's all you need to do if you want to break down this footwork with or without a basket is find a way to hold yourself accountable to space, not only on your stop, but on the actual shot as well.